Come Back Amelia Bedelia by Peggy Parrish. Pictures by Wallace Tripp. Oh, my cream puffs, said Amelia Bedelia. She went to the stove. Just right, she said. Amelia Bedelia took her cream puffs out of the stove. There now, she said. I'll just let them cool. Then I will fill them with chocolate and cream. Mrs. Rogers came into the kitchen. Good morning, Amelia Bedelia, she said. Good morning, said Amelia Bedelia. I will have some cereal with my coffee this morning, said Mrs. Rogers. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. Mrs. Rogers went into the dining room. Amelia Bedelia got the cereal. She put some in a cup, and she fixed Mrs. Rogers some cereal with her coffee. She took it into the dining room. Amelia Bedelia, said Mrs. Rogers. What is that mess? It's your cereal with coffee, said Amelia Bedelia. Oh, you are impossible, said Mrs. Rogers. You're fired. You mean you don't want me anymore? Asked Amelia Bedelia. This is just what I mean, said Mrs. Rogers. Now go. Amelia Bedelia got her bag and she went away. Amelia Bedelia walked toward town. Now what will I do? She said. She passed by the beauty shop. A sign said, Lady Wanted. Now let's see what that's about, said Amelia Bedelia. She went into the beauty shop. Can I help you? Asked the lady. No, I came to help you, said Amelia Bedelia. Can you fix hair? Asked the lady. Oh yes, said Amelia Bedelia. I can do that. Then you can start now, said the lady. Mrs. Hughes is waiting to have her hair pinned up. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. She looked all around. But I don't see any pins, she thought. It's a good thing I carry some with me. Amelia Bedelia opened her purse. She took out some pins. And Amelia Bedelia began to pin up Mrs. Hughes's hair. What are you doing, said Mrs. Hughes. Pinning up your hair, said Amelia Bedelia. Did I stick you? Help! called Mrs. Hughes. The beauty shop lady came. Oh no, she said. What have you done? Go away right this minute. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. So Amelia Bedelia went on her way. Now why did she get so mad? said Amelia Bedelia. I just did what she told me to. Millie Bedelia looked in all the stores. Then she came to a dress shop that had help wanted sign in the window. Millie Bedelia went into the store. What kind of help is wanted? She asked. Sewing help, said the lady. Can you sew? Yes, said Amelia Bedelia. I'm very handy with a needle. Then come with me, said the lady. She took Amelia Bedelia into a back room. Please shorten these dresses. They are already marked, said the lady. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. 
the lady left her alone. I don't need a soda to do this, said Amelia Bedelia. She took the scissors, and Amelia Bedelia shortened those dresses. What a mess she's making. The lady's not going to be very happy about this when she finds out. Millie Bedelia went back to the front of the store. I'm finished, she said. What's next? Finish, said the lady. How could you be? Lady went into the back room with Amelia Bedelia. She saw the dresses. Oh no, she said, you have ruined them. You're a disgrace. But I just shortened them, she said. Oh, go away, said the lady. I don't want you here anymore. So Amelia Bedelia went out of the store. Some folks, she said, I just do not understand them. Melly Bedelia walked another block or so, and she saw a sign in the window. It said, File Clerk Wanted. Now I wonder what a file clerk is, she said. I'll just go in and find out. A man met her. Are you a file clerk? he asked. I'll be one, she said. If you'll tell me what to do. All right, then, said the man. First, take these letters, because they need stamps, and then file these papers. I'll do that, said Amelia Bedelia. The man went into his office. Amelia Bedelia looked at the letters, saying, Now, should I stamp them all at once? one at a time. I better do them one at a time. So Emily Dilly took each letter and put it on the floor and stamped on them one by one. There, she said. Now that should be enough stamps. I better get these papers filed now. Emily Bedelli looked at the papers and she looked in her purse and found a fingernail file. It sure is small to file all these papers, but I'll do the very best I can. And Emily Bedelli began to file those papers. When the man came back, he said, Stop! What are you doing? Just filing your papers, said Emily Bedelli. You got a bigger file? Oh no, said the man, do go away. So Amelia Bedelia went. I declare, everybody's mad today, she said. Amelia Bedelia went on down the street until she came into a doctor's office. There was a sign that said, help wanted. Maybe that's the job for me, said Amelia Bedelia. She went inside. The doctor was there. I will be your help, said Amelia Bedelia. Good, said the doctor. Bring in the patients one at a time. Come when I buzz for you. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. I can do that. The doctor went into his office. A woman and her young daughter came in. Who is a patient? asked Amelia Bedelia. Jane, said the woman. Then I'll take her in, said Amelia Bedelia. She picked Jane up. Put me down. I can walk. I'm not a baby anymore, screamed Jane. Nope, said Amelia Bedelia. The doctor said to bring you in. And Amelia Bedelia carried Jane into the doctor's office. Put Jane down, said the doctor. Bring her mother in. Bring her mother in, said Amelia Bedelia. Can't she just walk? 
Oh, never mind, said the doctor. Mrs. Jackson, please come in. My Lady Bedelia went back to her death. A little raided, the buzzer rang. I need your help, said the doctor. Dicky has a very bad cut. He needs a few stitches. I can take care of that, said Amelia Bedelia. She opened her purse. He's a needle. Now what color thread does Dicky like? No, no, said the doctor. I wanted you to put my gloves on me. Can you do that? Oh my, yes, said Amelia Bedelia. I will be glad to. So Amelia Bedelia put the doctor's gloves on herself. There now, she said. They're a little big, but they're on. What next? The doctor looked at Amelia Bedelia and his face turned red with anger. Go home, he said. Home, said Amelia Bedelia. My goodness, I forgot about my cream puffs. I gotta go back and film them right away. Amelia Bedelia went back to Roger's house as fast as she could. I'll just make the chocolate cream, said Amelia Bedelia. She put a little bit of this and a little bit of that into a pot. She mixed and stirred, and soon her chocolate cream was cooked. Mrs. Rogers came into the kitchen. That smells good, she said. Well, said Amelia Bedelia, I'll just fill the cream puffs, then I'll be on my way. Oh no, said Mrs. Rogers. I'm sorry I got mad. Please come back, Amelia Bedelia. We missed you. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. I will be glad to. Mr. Rogers came into the kitchen. I'm hungry, he said. Amelia Bedelia, please heat me a can of soup. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. She took a can of soup, put it in a pot, and Amelia Bedelia heated that can of soup. The end.